Hi there, my name is Berichi Igwe from Eric's Academy of Fashion and on today's video I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful wedding dress. So if you want to learn how I made this from the very scratch, just stay to the end of the video and then you're going to see it. So first for my wedding, in my wedding I wanted a detachable wedding dress. A six piece gown I could wear after the wedding and then something um, a little bit dramatic like the train to be added to the waistline detachably and to be used after the wedding so I created a pattern for a six piece gown so I have uh, some other detailed videos on six piece gown so I'm going to send the link in this video then I started cutting out my pattern on the lace so most times you find out that bridal laces might not exactly be enough like in terms of length so what I did basically was that I did this like I got to a point then I used the edge of the lace to complete it so it just looks like a design like you're not really doing cut and join so um after creating this after cutting out all my patterns i cut out pattern for doll face to line the um lace itself and then after cutting out the pattern for the doll face it's basically to stabilize the lace to line the lace so this is the neckline area for my illusion blouse so this is how the back piece is going to look I just place the two of them together and then this is the upper piece pattern so so this is actually for advanced designers if you know how to cut an illusion neckline blouse and all that you be actually you actually be able to follow through this video so this is the front pattern this is the I used mirror face rather so this is mirror face so I cut mirror face for all the patterns except this one because of the illusion effect I wanted to have okay so this is how it is so like I said I cut the face for everything except that center piece so you can see it coming out very nicely and then this is the front piece all set up so you can actually use gum uhu gum to attach the mirror face to the fabric or you just stitch round okay so this is the back piece so i attach the cape using pins i started from the front piece first and then this is the back piece that's the illusion neckline up there okay this is that of the front after i pin the left side okay so this is how it turned out after stitching at this stage there was absolutely no, no, no lining so i just left it at this stage the back was not yet attached so i attached the back piece and flipped over with the line and I flipped this area over with the lining okay so this is how the inside looked and I was done I basically used intim finishings sorry I lost most of the videos 2018 is a very long time I kept procrastinating and I didn't really I didn't really get to post till most of the videos were lost so I decided to make this one maybe you could get one or two things from the images and all that ironing is a very important phase you open seam like so you just put your hand in between the seams press down and then this is the armhole I finished eventually with the bias so this is how it's going to look when you're done with the hard pressing so you trim off the armhole all nice and neat and bias it properly okay so i wanted to design the waistband with beads so i started with beads tacking with hand needle but i didn't exactly like the effect it was giving me so i had to use another kind of applique 
so this is what it looks like before I, I fixed up the neckline so what I basically did was that I biased the neckline then cut out trimmings lace trimmings and fixed on top of it so this the this is my hand fan so I preferred this lace trimming to the other applique okay so we're still setting up my fashion house as of the time I made this wedding dress so this is where my apprentice is working on the edges and this is the final look isn't it so beautiful that's my little sister she was 13 at the time and okay so we're still working on it at this stage I was so excited I didn't really get to take a personal picture that day so eventually a model got this photo of it and um, maybe I could post some other photos of it subsequently I'm still going to post other pictures of different wedding dresses I attached the train using a hook a skirt hook so I attached the flat side to the six piece gown waistline then the hook itself to um, to the detachable train so this is my fashion house setup we're still setting up a lot of things were not so much in order as for the time we're fixing it up but then um, check out the link uh, I'm going to add the link to my fashion house in the description box so you see what it looks like now okay so this was the final look we had on the waist train and that's it if you like this video just give it a thumbs up like subscribe sorry you didn't get much in terms of video but i hope the pictures help you thanks bye